Okay, so today we're going to put it all together. We're going to use the minus sign and we're going to use the equal sign. All right, so the first thing you have to do, remember, when you're doing subtraction, is you have to write the number that you are starting with. And I know that sometimes these illustrations can be a little confusing because they have X's on them. But for that starting number, you have to count even the pictures that have the X's on them. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven stuffed mooses. All right, seven stuffed mooses. So you'll write or trace that seven. All right, the minus sign is there for you. And then you're writing how many they're taking away. And that's where the X's come into play. How many X's are there? There's one, two, three, four, five X's. So that's how many you're taking away from the original seven. We're adding our equal sign. So go ahead and trace that too. And then at the end of your equation, when you're doing subtraction, you write how many you have left. And in this one, we have one, two left. So you started with seven, you took away five, and you had two left at the end. So seven minus five equals two. All right, so let's go ahead and jump down here and do the tigers. Now remember, you have to count the ones even if they have an X on them right now. So one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so we had we had ten tigers to start with. Ten to start with. How many did we take away? One, two, three, four. We took away four. All right. So how many there are all together? How many you took away? And what does that equal? Well, that equals how many are left. And how many are left? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six are left. So your equation will be ten minus four equals. Six. All right, let's do these panda bears. All right, counting all of the panda bears, even the ones with X's on them, even the one with X's. I know I keep saying that, but that is one of the biggest mistakes that kids make when they're doing subtraction is they, or they forget to count the ones that have the X's. So let's count all of them, even the ones with the X's. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so there are eight panda bears. So make an S. Do not wait. Climb back up to make your eight. How many of them have X's? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven of them have X's. Well, how many are left? What does that equal? There's one left. There's one left. So eight minus seven equals one. Equals one. All right. Turn the page to page 405, page 405. Just more practice, just like what we did. All right, now we've got some stuffed monkeys here. How many stuffed monkeys are there all together? All together, how many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six all together. How many are being taken away? That's how we show they're being taken away because they have the X on them. One, two, three are being taken away. Well, now you have six minus three equals, it equals how many are left. And how many are left? One, two, three. Three are left. So your equation would be six minus three equals three. All right, let's do these goldfish, all right? Now, how many goldfish are there all together? even the one that's X'd out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have nine goldfish all together. How many are being taken away? This time just one. We need to find out how many that equals. So go ahead and trace your equal sign. And how many are left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight left over. All right, so eight left over. So your equation is nine minus one equals eight. Nine minus one equals eight. All right, let's do these stuffed donkeys down here. All right, how many are there all together before we, we get started here? So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight all together. 
How many are being taken away? How many have an X on them? Well, they all do, right? Every single one has an X on it. So we already counted one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight have an X on them. So if you're taking away eight minus eight, how many do you have left over? How many does that equal? None, right? There are none left. If you have eight and you take eight away, you've got none left. So that is a zero, a zero. And that works with any number, right? If you had two cookies and then you ate two cookies, you took them away and you ate them, you wouldn't have any cookies left. So if you subtract the number that you started with, you're going to end up with zero. All right, turn the page to page 406, 406. It says the, on the directions to count the dolls in the window. Count the dolls that are in the window of this toy shop. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. And then it tells us to write that number. So go ahead and write down that number six. The minus sign is already there for you because the next job we have is we're going to take some away. Why don't we take away the ones that are on that bottom shelf? So we're going to take away one, two, three. We took away three. And now we have to find out what does that equal? What does that equal? So we started with six dolls. We took three of them away. Now how many dolls are left? One, two, three. There are three left. So our equation that shows what we did up here in our um, picture is six minus three equals three. Now today you're going to do pages 407 and 408 and it looks just like what we did except you're not going to use stuffed animals you're going to use like sports equipment okay so remember that when you are starting your problem you have to count all of the equipment even the ones that have the X's on it, just like they did in that very first example on page 407. But I think those are like little lacrosse rackets. I don't know if they call them rackets or not, but they counted even the ones that were X'd out. That's the, that is the biggest mistake that kindergartners make when they do this. All right, so 407, 408, upload that to Schoology when you're finished.